All right, everybody in the chat. It's almost seven, but I don't know. We're all ready, so welcome to another banjo race. This is the last race in Group B. We got Cine versus Electric Fortune, seeds two and three in the tournament. So hopefully, it's going to be a, a good race. Say hi, everyone. Hello. 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 How are y'all feeling about this race? Haven't touched okay at times since last year, so it should be good. <laughs> uh, got my butt kicked in the S7 tournament. Am I about to get my butt kicked here too? In the witch tournament? Uh, ZSR's. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. ZSR's tournament. I I lost my match there. Oh rip! That's the one where you get to counter pick your uh, rules kind of thing, yeah. Yeah, we, it's it's draft settings. Yeah, yeah. I really I really like that rule set. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Yeah, same. But, oh well. Vengeance, vengeance, teach electric for uh, not playing for like a whole year. Hello. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, um, yeah. If y'all are ready, I can count you down and we can get her started. Yep. All right. I'm ready. ready. Okay. Perfect. So, uh, start it up in three, two, one, go. And good luck to y'all. All right, they are off, and we are starting. Ooh, Goron City Child Spawn. Let's use Sinise audio. So, we got a uh, minuet start. Uh, hopefully my audio is good. Uh, uh, Fire Temple is foolish. Fire Temple is foolish. Nocturne on Saria's song. Okay. I, I talked to them about this before I started the race. I said, imagine it's like, you know, you both start in a spot, go different directions, and all of a sudden I have to pay attention to a shit ton of hints. Death Mountain Crater is Way of the Hero. Almost always the song, but could be something else. And Shadow Temple is Way of the Hero. Alright. And Electric gets a bottle from the uh, Ocarina game, so Sinny is probably going to find that right away. I can't imagine he doesn't go back into Lost Woods and just kind of finish clearing it out. Oh, but first going for the hit. We got Gerudo Valley is Baron. Another good hint to get. <laughs> I find, like... I mean, in these settings, most players have been... Uh, have been, um, you know, avoiding Gerudo Valley. And I think Electric just forgot that he started with Minuet. Because <laughs> he's going all the way through the maze. But, I mean, it's one of those things. Like, you're, you're close to being here, right? And all of a sudden it's like, hmm... Thanks for the GL, GL, Snoopy. And yeah, like I said in chat, this is the last match of Group B, so... I I got... <laughs> I got so super destroyed by Electric in our race, it wasn't even funny. I probably wouldn't even finish, or I wouldn't have finished if, like, they gave me, like, another hour. I was so behind. <laughs> Brings back bad memories. Bad memories. Alright, so now that Electric's got his minuet and ran all the way through here, he's going to get his hints. And then I imagine they're going to go uh, check Mido's house. And, um... Mido's house and, uh, what's it called? Um, uh... Was I the 40 Skull Magic guy? I don't have a great memory for that kind of stuff, so... Perhaps. <laughs> Alright, so because of the minuet play, Sinee is already done with Lost Woods. It might have been 40 Skulls from Magic. I think it was. And we got... Ooh, Din's Fire in Mido's house. Oh. 
on a gold skull there. I didn't see what that was when Sunny was getting it. I don't think mine was magic. It was skulls for something, but it, no, it was skulls for a bow. It was skulls for a bow, and then I got the bow somewhere else. I'm pretty sure... Well, that was one of my matches. I don't know if that was the match, though. <laughs> Alright, so not a whole lot of uh, early access stuff from Lost Woods, Kukiri Forest. Oh. Okay, so... Fire Temple is in Lake Hylia. Thank you for going back for that. Uh, that was Epona's song is on Nocturne, I believe. And the first one was Water Temple was foolish. Yeah. So... Mm, pretty interesting. Fire Temple and Water Temple being barren is, uh... I don't know, they're kind of good dungeons to be barren. Because you can... Well, Fire Temple not so much, because you have to kind of check everything in fire anyway. On your way up to the boss key, but Water Temple you can kind of just split. Okay, so the well leads to Forest Temple. And that was double defense on the slingshot game, so I imagine that uh, Electric's going to be finding that. Hey, Carrie. Checking this as child. That is a skull, so. We don't know what the skulls are, but we're probably going to see it too soon. There's another hint, or the other hint, uh, saying that a uh, fire temple is down under the lake. So, needing a uh, Song of Storms to get into Forest Temple. Not terrible, unless it's on something like Ocarina of Time. Don't tease my cuckoos. I guess I should, uh... Drag opponents. So, what are our hints here? 40 Skulls is dead. 50 Skulls is dead. 30, sorry, 30 was dead, 50 is the Stone of Agony. So all, all 30, 40, 50 skulls are dead. Stone mentioned. <laughs> Stone mentioned. Yeah, unfortunate Flameforge showing up in chat just to see that these guys don't have to be tortured collecting skulls. I mean, not that skull collecting seeds are terrible, but they're terrible. <laughs> Flame is the 40 skull everything guy. Two time. All right, so both of them winding up in Lon Lon Ranch. It's kind of funny seeing like the route. I mean, obviously Electric hasn't done as much as Sydney has, but they're kind of in the same spot. So he's probably gonna lose time doing a little bit of the, you know, go to town, get the slingshot. I don't know if he's going to go to Hyrule Castle and check the hint there, but I imagine he may. And what is Malin? Malin teaches Saria's song. Oops. I want to mark that. <clears throat> Alright, and then I'm not really sure what's going to happen after Sini, uh checks the silo. He could go do his, like, cack stuff because he can warp to the graveyard. Unless he gets, like, an item here. Nope, just a blue rupee. 
Nope. So he's probably going adult now. And he's going to do all of his, like, cack adult stuff. And then from there, you can check the, uh... You know, you can check the, uh, stone, or the medallions. And, uh, he can go do his Dodongo's, uh, dungeon check as well. And then there's, of course, the song loop, right? With Minuet, start. He can instantly go see what's at Minuet. But, and then I guess from there, maybe check adult spawn. Alright, let's see here. We got fire, forest, jabu, spirit, and I didn't see what the last one was. Shadow. So fire, forest, which are kind of reversed hilariously. Haha, <laughs> there's Bolero! Okay, so we're doing this, the song, the song loop. And so that means the other stones. We got Deku, Dodongos, and, uh... Oh, there's Song of Storms. Okay, so nice, easy Song of Storms. Forest early might not be a bad idea, but... I can't see what's up there. It's something dark. I cannot see what was up there. <laughs> nice banjo death music. I hope you guys can uh, hear the games all right. I hope like nothing's like too loud or too quiet. Yeah, Dins they got in Mido's house. Oh yeah, I forgot to mark it for electric, but he's got it too. Unfortunately, Dins doesn't do a whole lot without magic. All right, Fire Temple. We have Spirit. So, not super helpful as an uh, adult, but you could come back here as child. They won't, unless, you know, there's Bomb Chews or Boomerang or Slingshot. Something to lower the bridge. Alright, so Electric is checking all this uh, same stuff here. Now, I think we're going adult. So what's the last one here? The last stone is water. So we got Deku DC water. Which kind of sucks, because, I mean, barren water isn't, like, that bad to have as a medallion. But Dodongos and Deku being on uh, stones is kind of bad. Like, they're such fast dungeons. Although, uh, Deku Tree as adult, if it's locked to be done as an adult, is, uh, kind of evil. Because just because it requires, you know, some sort of flame to be able to break the second web. I mean, you could use a bow, but, I mean, if you don't get a bow, then you don't get a bow. <laughs> Alright, there's Bolero. And now we're going to instantly Bolero. <laughs> I think Electric is having problems playing the song. <laughs> no big item chests here from Damp A. We just got probably two blue rupees. Alright, and there's Song of Storms. Okay, and it looks like Electric isn't going to try and peek the top of the, uh, the top of the crater, but, I mean, I couldn't tell what it was anyway. I guess I should mark that, uh, Song of Storms could have been their potential way of the hero. Which is like, you know, better start checking those Song of Storm locations, am I right? Or, I would probably, like, go into Forest Temple. I don't know if that's a, such a great idea, because first off, they can't do much. There's no hookshot, there's no strength, there's no song of time, there's no bow. Like, So there's there's not a whole lot that they'd be able to do. Oh, adult spawn is Lake Hylia. That could actually be kind of good, like, if, you know, they don't have Serenade for a while. 
Like, Hylia is one of those spots in the game that just takes a really long time to get to. So any help, like, in that direction is always nice. Not sure what Electric's gonna be doing here on his, uh, journey. I mean, obviously the open grotto, but from there, like, it's hard to say. Because without any bombs, doing everything in the field is kind of dead. And there's no reason to go to Valley. If he gets really lucky here, he'll find, like, Hookshot or Hover Boots, but it's not going to happen. Oh, so Zelda's Lullaby is on Prelude check. So that means they need to complete the Fire Temple in order to get... In order to get uh, Zelda's lullaby. So there's a bomb bag inside the windmill. Oh, and we get song. Of okay, I thought that was Serenade, <laughs> but I forgot it's upside down if it was Serenade. So Electric's gonna be by in a bit, but first has to just you know clear off all the graveyard stuff that Sunny's already done. But the bomb chews in uh, Windmill. Oh, and here's another check right here. There's another Death Mountain Crater Wath hint. Oh, it's just straight up Mirror Shield. Alright, so I totally forgot that Electric hadn't done his, uh, hadn't done his adult uh, CAC. And so, yeah, doing that play to go check the bottom of the field. <sighs> Since we saw Sini get the bomb choose right there, kind of makes me think, like, uh, too bad he didn't do this first. But, I mean, it's, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty, right? So now he'll have to go back there to get the, uh, the grotto. And, um, I guess the, the Boulder Grotto in, like, Southeast Hyrule Field. Man, we got a lot of big chests in CAC. Well, and by big, a lot, I mean... <laughs> by a lot, I mean only two, but a Ice Trap, I guess, is, you know... There's got to be a Foolish somewhere, right? Yeah, Ice Trap Pog. <laughs> Alright, so El Sini has done his CAC. He's about to head up Death Mountain Trail with his Bomb Chews. Meanwhile, Electric done the Graveyard. He's entering CAC to go do his uh, check. So he's going to be finding those Bomb Chews real fast. Uh, I, I had something right on the tip of my tongue, but it just, like, fell off. Walked the plank, if you will. Alright, Sunny so getting a nice health refill off that single rock. And we got Water Temple inside Dodongos. That's not great. So there's where Water Temple is. There's Electric Bomb Chews, and his Song of Time. So that's about all he's going to be getting from... Oh no, he has to do another... Oh wow, he actually managed to side hop out of there. Ooh, we got... Oh, <laughs> Iron Boots! Well, I guess we can go back to that Water Temple now. Although you probably don't want to, because... Uh, you still need like Zelda's Lullaby and to do anything. And a bow would be really nice. Right, electric ops to pick up. Shoot the sun is dead. Unless they are looking for like a blue rupee. <laughs> Alright, electric about to find that nice uh, ice trap over here. I think Sunny might miss the Goron. 
Oh, oh, he was coming over here to check the uh, boulder maze. Uh, electric's a fool as well. Alright, let's see if we got anything in the behind the boulder maze. Oh, we got a big chest and the hammer chest. So, Sunil, I'll have to remember to go back and get that later with strength 2 or the hammer. But with ZL locked behind a uh, hammer, I imagine he'll, uh, he'll be able to check it before too long. Is it even possible to complete a seed without Zelda's lullaby? I'm sure it is, but I just, I don't know. Alright, well, at least now Sunny is going to be able to check Upper Fire, or Upper Death Mountain Crater, and I mean, he wants to get in that grotto as fast as possible with the right settings. Yeah, I mean, I guess if, you know, you have good luck with your item spawns in uh, Spirit Temple and uh, Water Temple. Oh man, he's rushing. Three hearts, lots of time to make it. So he's going to be going inside the boulder here to reset his timer. And then we can check the wall and what's on the mountain, like at the last second. Oh, we do have a big chest. Jabu leads to Jabu. No surprise there. Oh, it's the hook shot. What a surprise. Death Mountain Crater Way the Hero. Whoa, what is Electric doing? Oh, is he going back child? Oh, he's going back child. What is that on top? Oh, it's a bow. It's a potential bow. When it's dark like that, you know it has to be something like, you know, a stick. Or a bow. Alright, so it looks like Sunny really wants this hit up here, too. Zora's River is foolish. Not a bad hint to get. Not having to go to Zora's River is, uh... I was gonna say it's kinda nice, but he has to go to Zora's River anyway, because without knowing where Hover Boots are, you know, <laughs> now he can check on top of uh, Lake Hylia. Or the lake lab. And he has hover boot, or iron boot, so he can check the, the lab, too. Oh. The double doozy. Uh, anyway, he has to go to Zora's River anyway, because without knowing where hover boots are, you can uh, get a bean and get that bow. Longshot and ZL. Yeah, but I mean, Longshot could be anywhere. And ZL, he has to beat Fire. But, I mean, with Hookshot he could, and Bow, he could definitely go into Forest Temple. Because he has Storms already. He just has to open it up. And there, uh, just in case he didn't get the hint, he knows where it is now. <laughs> so... Alright, Electric doing Bomb Chew Bowling to get light arrows. Hopefully the real light arrows. Ba -ma -ma -ma. There's the real light arrows. So light arrows, kind of nice to get. And then he'll want to check Richard. And then from here, who knows what. Oh, 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 I thought he aggroed the uh, brown dog. All right, Richard has attached. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, Richard? Oh no, it's happening! It happened to him! Richard died! <laughs> that happens every now and again where Richard just sits down and he stops moving. That happened in, uh... That happened in the previous tournament, too. It's like one of my favorite clips. Me, me and Lalaway are just talking and all of a sudden we just stop talking and we're like, uh, Richard? <laughs> Alright, Richard Owner 
gives us a blue rupee for our services, as is tradition. Alright, now we're going to Graveyard. Is it the proper time of night for Dampe? I don't think so. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, I guess it must have just turned. Oh! The fish is being a troll for Sunny. Come on. Okay. He's not gonna resist that yummy looking bait. Just like a Twitch troll. Alright, uh, Electric getting a nice refill on his wallet from that gold rupee from Dampe. Grave robbing someone's fortune, clearly. Alright, now imagine this is now Night Skulls. Oh, he's gonna open up uh, Storms, or the bottom of the well first. Because, you know, may as well, right? And now Sunny is gonna go check where. Uh, forest entrance leads to, which I like. Ooh, he can also go into uh, Fire Temple as well. Oh, it's Dodongos. So we got Dodongos and Fire Temple. May as well come in here and do as much as you can. If that hookshot is way of the hero, and I mean, like, even if, you know, Dodongos is a stone. Oh, wait, Dodongos is a medallion. I don't know why I thought it was a stone. Oh no, D yeah, Dodongos is a stone. My bad. <laughs> I read my tracker wrong. Derp. Even if Dodongos is a stone, it's still a dungeon. They did start with a medallion. So, uh, they have kind of that open room to choose between their stones. And I mean, you know where water is, but... Oh, I like this. Sunny is low on bomb juice, and so he's using the baby Dodongos to blow open the wall. Very nice. Using their dead body for science. We still don't have any hints for Skull Kid yet. Or Skull Mask, sorry. So... I haven't seen either of them grab Keaton Mask, but I imagine it's one of those things that's like, if they don't find anything for a while, they'll probably, like, get there eventually. But it's something that's, like, not, you know... It's not a priority. And on top of that, I mean... They already have a lot to do right now. I mean, Electric obviously hasn't, you know, checked his, uh... Upper Crater yet. But when he does... Oh, we get 10 skulls already from Electric. Oh, it's a bomb bag. I mean, not that powerful because he's already got his, you know, he's already got bomb chews. But, I mean, a bomb bag is still kind of nice. Alright, Electric using this opportunity to check his uh, medallion locations. Yeah, I'm just thinking, like, Sunny has, like, a lot to do right now. Yeah, he can go here. I I don't know, like, part of me wants to say I don't know if it's worth going into Fire Temple in, in, uh, in uh, Lake Hylia just to, you know, just to uh, get that one check in there. But, I mean, if it's the end of your line, like, you kind of want to do something else. Oh, 20 skulls is dead. That was a that was a lucky hint for uh, Electric to get. If you're at the end of your road, you can always go into Fire Temple and then just like warp out and do something else. Being stuck in Fire Temple without anything to do, uh, without the hammer, does kind of suck. But, I mean, if you just kind of follow the logic of the seed, I'm sure you'd just find it eventually. Which I know is like a really basic thing to say, but... Ooh, Electric finds strength in Lost Woods. So the bomb's definitely helping him out. So sunny has gone one way where he's got kind of hookshot and bow access. And meanwhile, Electric's gone the other way. Bombs and strength. I mean, I'm sure they're all items that the other is going to find eventually anyway. 
It's just sometimes the timing really matters. And I mean, like, we've seen a couple races this tournament, I think, like two or three, or maybe one or two, where, you know, the runners are pretty close leading into the end. Leading into the end of the race, and then all of a sudden, you know, a decision causes one to win and the other to lose. Boomerang inside Dodongo's Cavern. Boomerang kind of nice. Not that they really need it. It's not a Skull Seed, so... I guess Boomerang could be ni uh, could be useful for going into Child Spirit. <laughs> There's a Graveyard Baron Hint. Oh! Electric found a bow! He found a bow in the grotto. So that bow that's on top of Death Mountain Crater could very well be an ice trap. Song of Storms is locked for bow access and forest temple access. It would be something else. It would be a huge waste of time, too, if, if Sini actually did go out of his way to go buy that bean to go get it. Especially since Zora's River is barren. And I mean, yeah. Like, Electric has strength and bow. Once he finds that hookshot, he can go straight to forest temple and clear it. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it's a way of the hero, right? So, he should clear it. Okay, I thought Sunny was going to go for, like, triple bomb choose there, and I was like, uh... That <laughs> seems kind of excessive. So yeah, if people don't know, that one pot in Dodongo's Cavern will always drop bombs, but it can only drop bombs once. Oh! There's the other strength in Dodongo's! <laughs> Alright, so there's enough strength to do the Spirit Temple now. And the Mirror Shield? So, I mean, Spirit, it could be, like, one and done. I mean, all they need is uh, Zelda's Lullaby, potentially. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean... So, what can they... If, if they get lucky without Zelda's Lullaby, they can clear... But with the items between the two of them, they can do Forest, they can do... Uh, I guess they still need letter for Jabu. There's iron boots for electric. And now he's gonna... Uh, I guess he probably doesn't want to check the... Oh yeah, you can check the dungeon with the bomb flower. No! Th throw the bomb flower down so you can blow up. <laughs> okay, so Sunid doesn't have bombs. Oh, but he does have strength. Oh, but he's gonna do the bomb juice strat. Oh, he failed though. Uh oh, are we gonna see a, uh... Oh, did he store our ground jump? Oh, he did! Ground jump bomb chew into King Dodongo's mouth. I love the strat. Yeah, he's going for the... That's so cool to see. I love it. Do a little hop and boop. It's like a jump shot, you know? Do a little hop, put a little chew in there. Bam. So yeah, it looks like uh, Electric is going straight for Forest Temple. Won't be able... Well, I guess he doesn't... I don't know if he knows that it's in there, because I don't know if he got the hint. I'm pretty sure he did, but without a hook shot, it's kind of... Kind of a yikes. 
And while Sunny doesn't know that 20 is dead, so he's gonna keep collecting skulls. I do like this going into forest, but at the same time, it's like, eh, you know, hindsight, right? Anyway, Sunny clears Dodongo's cavern. He gets his first stone. And now we're gonna be going. I actually don't know where he's going. I was going to say going to Cac, but if he was going to Cac, he would probably have played Nocturne. Oh, he's going to get the skull outside Ganon's castle. Kind of funny. Oh no, he's turning at night. That's what he's doing. Oh my god, a boss key! So, Electric can just go beat the dungeon right now. Like, can't do a whole lot without the hookshot, but can definitely just straight up beat the dungeon. So I kind of like that. And I mean, I might actually do that instead of like doing any of the other checks. I mean, obviously you want to do some of the checks, but yeah. Unfortunately, beating the dungeon doesn't really give him anything. Like it gives him the, the medallion, but the medallion doesn't do anything. Not until he collects the forest and water medallions. Okay. So, checking that, we see magic. Again, locked behind hookshot. And now we're gonna <laughs> put on the iron boots. And see what's across hither. So, I'll put a... Uh, Magic forest temple question mark Just because we don't know that it's not an ice trap, right? All right, checking this skull up here The slingshot so it's an item, but it's not that useful So Snee doesn't want that. <laughs> He's trying to get into a position to waste all his bomb chews, but can't because uh, the dog is right there. And the dog will blow up bomb chews if you like let him loose. Alright. Sunny so sees those light arrows, he wants them. Alright, meanwhile we're kinda nearing the end of uh, Electric's journey through Forest Temple. Like, once he's, like, done in this room, he can go check the, uh, Stalfos room. And then that's about it. Stalfos room, and then there's the skull on the, uh... Oh, no. So he's doing this without a setup. Unless he got in position. You need to go more to the left? Yeah, that'll work. Or maybe a little more to the left. A little more to the left. I like to go foot touching the third line from the left. Okay, now we're going from the top. Brilliant. Love it. He made it. We got them light arrows. So yeah, after these Stalfos, there really isn't any other checks left in Forest Temple. And I mean, you know... Knowing where magic is, is kind of a big deal in this seed particularly, because they started with, you know, basically started with Din's fire. Ooh, we got a big chest. I would have been hella punished <laughs> if I didn't check this. Oh, it's just bomb cheese, so maybe not so much. So, Sunny might be going from here. He'll probably open up bottom of the well. And then, who knows if he'll go to buy beans from Zora's River. Oh, going... Yeah, oh, he's going straight to Bolero. Oh, he's going to do Child Spirit. That's what. Okay, so there's the key ring. Can't get it, but don't need it. We're going to go beat the boss. <laughs> I love how, like, comically fast the room spins <laughs> on these settings. 
Alright, so new ground. We got Sunny going into Spirit Temple. I guess we've always had new ground, just because, you know, electrics and forest. They're, they're, they really have different items to do different parts of the game, and they won't really converge with each other until, uh, until later. The only thing is that with the items, like, with the items Sunny has, he'll have to do less backtracking if he needs to. In, um, you know, not having to, like, go back into Forest Temple. Not that it's, you know, in a super terrible location. You know, they have Nocturne, so they can get back to it really easy. But if Sunny has to go back to, uh, Forest Temple later, he'll have the option to put Din's Fire down. If... That turns out to be... Oh, it's a bomb bag. Is that the, another bomb bag? Okay, that is a real bomb bag. So both of them found... Quote, unquote, found... Different... Uh, <laughs> different... Um, different bombs and different quivers. <laughs> Electric thinking about that red rupee for a second. Just like, eh, hey, do I want it? Mm, yeah. Mm. Alright, let's go for it. Alright, first completed dungeon for Electric Fortune. And now, honestly, like, where to? Hopefully, Death Mountain Crater. <laughs> Oh, obviously we got the boulder game. I mean, really, with these kind of hints, it's it seems to be the hunt for the hammer. <laughs> oh, Snee getting told. All right, big Goron. He's back in Goron City, so... Ooh, I thought that he was just going to jump straight over that and he was going to miss. Oh, Electric Mr. Rupee. At least he gets a free game. I hate the rupees that move from left to right. I, I don't know. Just the speed and the distance they are from each other. It's just like, I don't know. It's really easy to miss. <laughs> Electric going for the snipe. The fast snipe on the rupee that jumps up. Love it. Oh, and we get another quiver. It's a bow-locked bow, and that's potentially the third bow. Alright, Sunny is checking his Lost Wood stuff here. So he's going to be finding his strength too. And then probably straight to Spirit Temple. The thing about being able to clear Adult Spirit? Potentially. Oh, I guess he could. Yeah, because the key ring will be in Adult Basement. I mean, obviously, they'll need ZL if it's in that one room where you need to, you know, ZL to spawn the chest. But with these settings, uh, going through Spirit Temple to the hands allows you to jump off and suddenly you're in uh, Desert Colossus. And so you can check your uh, Spirit Temple entrance as well as get the song. You check the spoiler log to see... If you get anything good that like defeats the purpose of a randomizer there's no there's no surprise <laughs> you just check the games Oh, the oh, like the mini games. I gotcha. All right, so there's Sunny's bow, and so yeah, he's not gonna be going to crater anymore. So with bow and hookshot in hand, that's a pretty easy trip into Forest Temple, and he will end up getting the uh, will end up getting the uh, magic that's in there. Well, that was a really sick jump onto this stump, I'm not gonna lie. 
So the only thing that might trip up Sunny here, and we'll see if he actually ends up like kind of falling for it, is if um, if Forest Temple doesn't actually have anything of value in it other than like those first couple rooms. Um, it's kind of good for Electric the way things worked out because with the hookshot, Sunny will be able to go further into Forest Temple. Because obviously Electric didn't have the hook shot to get the uh, to get the key ring. So it it could just be like a huge waste of time if Electric is suddenly on a path and um, Sini has to like you know full clear forest temple, which is kind of a long dungeon to clear. But you never know if Electric might go back into the dungeon. Ooh, you gotta pull your bomb like now. Oh, he's gonna equip bomb choose. Okay, I was like, you're never gonna make it. <laughs> Takes forever for bombs to explode. Ooh, and a nice bomb chew refill. Love it. All right, there's the nice gilded chest. And inside, ba 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 ba, it's your hook shot. All right, so Sini is definitely going back to Forest Temple, like right now. And that's just arrows. No point in going up to the top of Death Mountain Crater. So Electric's going to be checking this hint, and then who knows if he'll have time to warp away or if he's just going to kind of die to the flames. Yeah, so both of them getting the Zora's River hint without uh, without going to Zora's River is really nice. So not to waste all that time. And you're right, now he's just going to go back and grab his magic. And Sneeze doing the same thing. Except he's not really going back to grab his magic. He's just kind of going to the dungeon for the first time. And we'll see if he continues on. I can't imagine Electric won't continue on in Forest Temple. I mean, obviously, you know, it would be nice to see other stuff. He hasn't gotten his Strength 2 yet. And, um, like, I don't really know where else there is for him to go right now, other than, you know, just go check his dungeons. I don't think Electric's actually been into, um, I don't think Electric has been into, uh, what's it called, um, Dodongo's entrance, so he doesn't know that it's Water Temple. But with Iron Boots, Hookshot, and Bow, uh, he'll be able to go in there for sure. Okay, so Electric is coming back to get his key, so he's probably going to continue further on in Forest Temple. Not terrible. And maybe he'll get that Slingshot, too. Because, I mean, Slingshot is like whatever, but, I mean, you know, you can fully clear your Lost Woods with it. Man, I really like the songs that are on Sunny's uh, game pack. I think in the last booter, I think in booter 2, I said that custom songs were okay. I can't remember. But I remember, like, uh, there were a couple times when some people's custom music was so incredibly loud. <laughs> it was just so hard to listen to. Alright, so there's our magic for electric. So it was in fact a real magic meter. <laughs> Man, all these hot items, but we only have two, like, way of the heroes. Uh... For sure, after Forest Temple, I can't imagine that we're not going to see what's in sh uh, Shadow Entrance. Because it's just you Nocturne and you just run back, Din's Fire, open the door, and we'll be able to see. Uh, it could be Vanilla Shadow, in which case, 
I mean, Way of the Hero. You can check a couple things in there because you can cross that first gap with the shot. So if the Way of the Hero item is like in the first couple items, then, um, and it's like the hover boots, <laughs> then they'll be able to go forward. I mean, obviously Shadow Temple is a really long dungeon to clear, but yeah, in before Wath item is hovers, yeah. I mean, Shadow Temple is a medallion too, so it, it's not like clearing the dungeon will be a bad thing. But without Zelda's lullaby, they can't clear it because you need it to ride the boat at the end of the dungeon. Or, Way of the Hero in Shadow could be the hammer. That would be a, a real fun item to have there. Because the moment one of them gets the hammer, it's just instant, instantaneous, uh, instantaneous fire temple, I would imagine. Yeah. So Sunny almost done his courtyard checks. Gonna see that this is the slingshot. See if that interests him. I mean, it's always funny like seeing the way of the heroes. Like way of the hero in shadow, we don't know is in the first couple items, but the way this seed is shaping up, it looks like it could be, could very well be. Finally, he's gonna find his key ring down in the basement, and we'll see if he clears the dungeon. I personally would just clear the dungeon, go back in. Oh, he pushed it the wrong way. <laughs> Whoopsie doopsie. Yeah, so he can now instead of riding the elevator up, he can just beat the dungeon, then go back in. Nice and easy. And then that'll be two dungeons completed. All right, Electric gets his fairy slingshot. My uh, notable list of uh, items that they've gotten <laughs> is ever growing. Oh, electric to the spin, quick spin, too soon. The hands, hand pieces were still invincible. All right, we got a nice heart. Even with double defense, I'd still go for another heart until like five or six. Oh, what is? Oh, Electric is leaving. Okay, so yeah, he we're going to Shadow. Well, Shadow Entrance. Shadow Entrance. Where could it lead? It could lead to Deku Tree. Could lead to Deku Tree or uh, Shadow or Ice Cavern. Or GTG, of course. Which one's it gonna be? It is Shadow, okay, so Shadow is Shadow. So we're gonna see if all of our speculation, which, you know, I, I would, you know, not be shocked to see either Hammer or Hovers here. Hovers would be, actually Hovers would kind of be upsetting. <laughs> all right, there's medallion for Sini completing the temple. Now we'll see where he goes. Deciding not to go deeper into forest. Very, uh, very notable. Oh, would you look at that? We got a big chest. And it is the hammer. Okay, so I was right. <laughs> it, it had to be hammer hovers. <laughs> Yeah, so with Hammer, that gives Electric pretty fair game to go into Fire Temple. Obviously not in Logic quite yet, because there's no Tunic and no Wallet. Yeah, if it was... If it was, um... Hovers, I mean... You could go pretty far into Shadow. Like, you wouldn't be able to do the boat, but you'd be able to do everything else. You know, except for like, 
Yeah, I think everything else would be in logic. Alright, so Sunny is doing the same thing now. He's going to Shadow. He's just one step behind. One step behind Electric. Our second chest isn't anything noteworthy, just a heart. But whatever, it's still a heart. Alright, so now what are we gonna see? Like a warp out and then a save warp? Oh, going to. Oh! Electric hasn't checked, uh hasn't checked a uh, forest entrance so he's gonna do this real quick and then he'll probably end up clearing the dongos as well but Sunia's has already done this so um, oh he's thinking about it oh not going okay going <laughs> come on electric is it in or is it out Choosing to blow open the entrance with bombs when you have the hammer. Very interesting. Oh, he heard me. <laughs> Alright, there's Sunny's hammer. And I guess he didn't get the slip shot, he just or the slingshot, he just looked at it. Alright, another Zora's River Foolish. I don't I don't know. I I think uh Sunny got that. Alright, so Electric's going to be in here for a little while, because full clearing it out. I mean, obviously, not bad. He's going to find his boomerang eventually, which will be real nice. But that's about it. I don't think there was anything else in the Zongos other than the boomerang. And that was pretty late in the, uh, the Spiny's room, or whatever they're called. Yo, the baby the Dongos can eat bombs? I mean, it makes sense that they can, because the Dongos eat bombs, but... I've, I've actually never seen a baby the Dongo eat a bomb before. <laughs> that poor thing. Alright, so yep, we're going straight to fire. So with four hearts, not a bad deal. Sunny does have a bomb, or does have a bottle. Both of them got a bottle real early with a blue potion in it, I think. So at least we got something to store a fairy in. So that fairy will get them to floor two, for sure. <laughs> Electric using bombs on the door again instead of the hammer. I feel like it's one of those things, like, if you're so used to using bombs, you just kind of forget. You kind of forget that you have the hammer. Unfortunately, nothing in the Brad check. So need doing this with only 20 seconds. Kind of ballsy. He might be saving and quitting out of here, because I don't think he's going to make it to the door. He'll save and quit back to like the previous room and then, you know, continue on in Old Fire Temple. Because yeah, he's not making it out of here alive. Ah, he's gonna try. Okay, made it with one second left. I honestly didn't think that was happening. I thought we were going out. That was really close. Yeah, never punished. I mean, if you're okay with your, like, own ability, then sure. But, I mean, if he, like, bonked, or if he grabbed a ledge, it was just over. Just, you know, the always lucky kind of thing. <laughs> Yeah, keys always are like that. Alright, Electric made it through to get his boomerang, so that's that's a thing. Not super helpful for him though. Got 
That would have been nice if that heart piece gave uh, Sinny an extra container right then, but I actually don't know what his uh, heart numbers are like. Electric's still picking up some hearts. Or it's five. I think he had five before, though. That was just a heal. I didn't see it grow another heart. I think Sinny is really close to, uh... And he is really close to um, uh, five hearts, though. So. Fire entrance is in Water Temple. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I, I appreciate that the tracker may be hard for some people to read, so I'm more than welcome to uh, elaborate. Alright, there's the key ring. Which, it, it had to be either there or here, so... All right, now we're going to go up Fire Temple, and obviously Sunny isn't going to be able to make it uh, up to the second floor without using his fairy, so that's why he got it. I'm pretty sure 32 seconds isn't enough. Maybe without the hookshot. I think he can actually make it up with uh, four hearts. Without the hookshot, definitely not possible, though. Alright, so... Unfortunate for us that we have to watch this, but Fire Temple is completely barren. So there's zero chance of finding an item in fire. Unfortunately, they have to keep climbing and keep checking everything until they find a boss key, so... We're just going to be, like, praying that the boss key comes nice and early, <laughs> so we don't have to keep watching a barren fire temple. But at any point, because the shortcut's open... Oh, look at that, there's a boss key. <laughs> Sorry, Pastel Star Gem. It's cut short. Alright, well... Still completing fires out of logic um, without the uh, without the tunic, just because you can't quotation mark can't survive the logia. And I'm not sure what Sunny is doing. Oh, he's healing his quarter heart of damage. Because it's like two seconds more on his timer. And I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. Alright, King Donger is dead. <laughs> Everyone always speaks too soon. What's the problem with Rando? Yeah. I mean, it, with bombs, bomb chews, like, it's not that bad, but still. Alright, Electric completing his uh, second dungeon, getting his third dungeon reward. Let's see if Sunny has a good one cycle here. So far, so good. Obaji has a good I was say, Volvagia hasn't been trolling, but uh, if you look at that, Volvagia be trolling. <laughs> okay, doing good so far. He's gonna die here, though. Uh, dead. But healed. King Dodongo dying and Volvagia rising. Oh, not enough damage! Either Sunny miscounted or thought, you know, something was weird. Yeah, go hit him, or hit her in the head. Alright, this will definitely be enough damage with this jump slash. But Sunny has to get this. If he gets trolled or, like, Lovagia attacks him or something, then he's just dead. Okay, we got it. 
fire temple is Comprito. All right, with the hammer, Electric's gonna go back to Goron City to see what that big item was in the maze. I mean, the universe is telling me that it's an ice trap, but just because I had to go all the way back here for an ice trap in my seat. <laughs> but you never know. At least someone remembered. Oh, it's a scale. Scale could be nice. I was about to say gives early access into Zor's domain, but uh, Sunny is about to have that with uh, Zelda's lullaby. So Sunny, with the third dungeon completed, he gets the Forest Medallion, and Forest Medallion is going to give ZL. Not in a super big hurry to check the. Uh, not in a super big hurry to check the uh, Composer Brother grave, though, because Graveyard is barren. So that's either Serenade or it's the Junk Hint. Alright, so we got ZL. Now we're going to go do Spirit Temple. With ZL, Hookshot, and Mirror Shield, Sunny can fully complete Spirit Temple. And after that, we'll just need one dungeon left. And I mean... Honestly, it could probably just be Shadow, yeah? Oh, well, I guess no Hover Boots. You need Hover Boots. Could be a... Well, it depends if what kind of items they find in Spirit Temple. Because what's the last dungeon to complete? Deku? Well, you don't know where Deku is. Yeah. Shadow needs boots. Water Temple needs long shot. Deku Tree, you just need to find the entrance. Jabu needs a uh, letter. And then GTG and Ice Cavern are just like, sorry, try again later. So yeah, right now, Electric just one dungeon behind. Obviously going to be able to um, complete the dungeon. A little behind on uh, on completion just because of like one, not getting that hookshot super early led to a bunch of uh, backtracking. And then on top of that, um, I feel like Sunny's like item collection has just been like more efficient. And so early on there was a lot of um, there was a lot of uh, I, I can't even like think of what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Just going from check to check was more efficient so we saw more ground get covered you know. I mean I don't think Sunny has done anything crazy that's the thing. Oh, electric. Oh no, electric! <laughs> Gonna have to save and quit. Or just die. Yeah, I guess just decided to accept fate. Uh, hello? <laughs> what the hell was that? That was like some weird overlap. Either way, fire arrows, not necessary, but could speed up uh, the dungeon a little bit. You know, you could, could use dins in order to uh, clear away, like light all the torches, clear all the Anubis dudes, but fire arrows kind of... Not, not really saves magic, but... I don't know, it makes it, you just, it point, point and click adventure, right? I guess in the one torch room you could use the fire arrows on the torches, but I mean, yeah, it's probably also just easier to use dins.
Oh, there's the boss key. Nice and easy. So, I guess continue going through Spirit. But at the same time, like, I, I might actually drop Furore's Wind here when you're fighting the Iron Knuckle. Like, drop Furore's Wind in the room, and then once you're done fighting the Iron Knuckle, you can drop down into Colossus. Check what the dungeon is on Requiem, like, in, on uh, Spirit. And then, uh, if it's Deku Tree, then you just win. <laughs> But if it's not, then I mean, it's just like, try again, right? Alright, electric one room away. Well, not one room away, like two rooms away. Because he's going to go left first, because nobody goes right first, ever. Oh, he needs to get the fairy here first, though. Electric doesn't know that he's uh, not going to be going far in spirit or in fire, so he's still got to prep. He's got to prep his uh, bottle. And yeah, lots of early boss keys. It's really nice to see, especially in a dungeon like fire where it's you know. First off, it's barren, so they don't need to go higher up. Oh, Sunny is putting... Putting Furores here. It's kind of interesting. I, I think Sunny thought, oh, I should go check that one room. Or I should go check the uh, outside of the dungeon. I don't know if it's, like, if it's any different from doing it here. Maybe he just, like, forgot. Or didn't think of it. Yeah. But I mean, the worst thing about a fire is if you decide to end it early and there is an item in upper fire, then you just get like super punished. We saw that happen to people in the last booter tournament. But. Knowing that it's barren and being able to leave early is just like such a hallelujah. Alright, so we just got a heart here. Nothing too fancy on the hand. Skull on the arch. And now we get to see what dungeon this is. Holy shit, it's Deku Tree. Dude, Sunny is... in... He's in go mode. <laughs> He's gonna be done in like 20 minutes. <laughs> like all he has to do is beat Goma right here. Goma's gonna be dead in like three minutes. Yeah, he's he's just straight up in go mode. <laughs> what a seed. Like I, I actually can't believe it. Yeah. This this was a baby seed. Oh my god. It was it was just it was just that like beginning like you know that beginning trying to find a couple items. Electric not finding that uh hook shot kind of screwed him a little bit, but I mean in the end like they just got like super blessed because not only was there a second bow somewhere, you know there was bows everywhere, the strengths were really easy to find. The uh bomb bags weren't hard to find either. Bomb chews came super early. Like, everything just kind of fell into their laps, and then the way of the heroes were just the items that they hoped it would be. Like, okay, Woth, uh, you know, Woth Hammer and Shadow, Woth... I mean, they only found two way of the heroes! Death Mountain Crater and Shadow Temple. One of them we have Hookshot Bow, and the other one we have Song of Storms. Or, Hookshot Bow Storms, and the other one we have Hammer. This is actually insane. Yeah, actual Babby's first seed. 
<laughs> Alright, and there's... Deku water, so yeah, Sunny's gonna be going back into, uh... Sunny's gonna be going back into, uh... The dungeon, pulling up Furore's Wind, and, uh... Calling it a day, yeah. Yeah, I mean, seeds that start out with a lot of items are usually kind of like, yeah. But this seed didn't even start out with that great of items. It was like, you know, they started out with not a whole lot. There was some early bomb chews, sure. Iron boots, that's not really that helpful. They didn't even end up needing the iron boots. But then it was just, you know, as they kept going on, it was like, oh, there's an early item, there's an... Or not early item, but there's an item, there's an item, there's an item. Did Sneed push that? How did he let go? Cause, yeah, because he did that in the other room in Spirit, too. I thought he got hit. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, it started with Dins, and even then, like, Dins is kind of useless without magic. Alright, there's Electric's Forest Medallion, but too little, too late. Electric's still gotta go through, uh... I mean, obviously he's on the path, right? He's done this temple, he's gonna go get his Zelda's Lullaby. Oh, he doesn't have Strength 2, though. Oh, yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. I forgot he got that. I just I forgot to mark it on the tracker. <laughs> Silly me, silly me. Yeah, now he's going to be going straight to Fire Temple entrance. Yeah, both of them just thinking like, man, what a crazy easy win. I mean, they both probably think they're going to win. But then again, maybe not, because, I mean, it's really easy to, you know underestimate your opponent or overestimate. I don't know what I'm trying to think. Either way, they're probably respecting each other enough to think like, wow, the other person probably knows how easy to see this is. And yeah, Electric never even went to, uh, never even went to Child Side Spirit. just didn't didn't have the items to be able to do it because uh Zini had the boomerang nice and early so it was able to like lower the drawbridge but i mean by the time electric found the boomerang in dodongo's cavern he was already like kind of on his way just goes to show like like i said earlier the item order and like the item timing really does matter Although, I think the thing that really is uh, saving Sini here is uh, the fact that, you know... I, I can't even say saving Sini. I think it's good on both of them that they decided not to go further into Forest Temple when they uh, didn't need to. And I gotta say, with this seed, now, you know, people can finally stop saying that I only generate shitty seeds, right? <laughs> oh, so you got bad RNG. Well, it's not bad RNG, but you missed the, uh, missed the uh, ice shots, and I just gotta dodge all the fire shots. Yeah, I mean that was that was another thing. It's just the the backtracking. Sunny so had a really fast early game because he got that hook shot on his first trip to Death Mountain Crater, whereas uh, whereas Electric kind of had to go child first and then eventually came back adult and found the hook shot. And so Electric did have to like double check a bunch of areas. And I mean, that's, like, 
in a seed that's this fast, having to like double check areas is like just so unfortunate. Alright, there's the shadow medallion for Sini. And he's done. That's gonna give him the boss key. Yeah. And I mean, like, it wasn't that big of a detour back into Forest Temple for the magic. But the thing that kind of, uh... The, th the thing that kind of put Electric behind was that Sini didn't actually go for that slingshot. And Electric did. So Electric had to, like, run all the way, do the entire block puzzle room. And, uh... Yeah, just had to do the whole block puzzle room. Oh, and there's another seed bag. <laughs> so yeah, elec and el Electric's doing all this stuff that Sini didn't, so... It's like... You know, you never... Whoa! Icola, thanks for the raid. Welcome to the end of, like, probably... The fastest seed I've ever generated. <laughs> yeah, this is uh This is a very qu quick seed. I think most of the seeds we've seen in the tournament so far are like... I think the fastest one was like just over two hours. And a lot of them end up being between 2.30 and 3. So, uh... Yeah, this is uh, quite unusual. <laughs> anyway, like I was like I was saying, Sini didn't do all this stuff that Electric's doing. He just kind of wanted to see his dungeon entrance because he probably realized, oh hey, I'm one dungeon away from completing the game. And I mean, I see Electric is, you know, he's setting his Furore's win too. I don't know if he plans on like going the other way. Or if he plans on like going up to child side and yeah, and then doing that to go back, which is kind of unfortunate. Because I mean, in the end, it's like just kind of prioritize the dungeon. If he beats the Iron Knuckle and comes over here and sees like if he does actually see that Deku Tree is in spirit, then uh, hopefully he'll just kind of forget everything he's doing and just beeline towards the boss. Oh! Oh, is Sini gonna... Oh, he's gonna use arrows. <laughs> We're not dying to these iron knuckles today. Alright. <laughs> iron knuckles down. <laughs> Alright, so just one last step. Uh, obviously, we don't need to go back for hearts, because Ganondorf fully heals you. Electric going up against an Iron Knuckle, but it's only one, but still takes an axe to the face. <laughs> Ooh, dodge the backswing. You no, know, I remember in, in the last race I did versus Electric, I actually died to, like... Naburu knuckle like three times and it was that backward swing where she turns around and like smacks you with the axe I just I 100% like just didn't know that they could do that in Ocarina of Time because I'm so used to Majora's Mask Iron Knuckles alright so Electric Fortune sees Deku Tree he's already got the uh, fire arrows equipped so hopefully he knows just go forward and you're in go mode unfortunately too little, too late. Oh, and he's still checking items. But why? Just go. Just go, my dude. <laughs> Just go! <laughs> this is really uh, delightful music for Ganondorf. Nice one cycle by Sini. And like another five minutes left on the seed, or four minutes, something like that. Not long. <laughs> Not long.
And at least I got the hammer this time to uh, kind of do the crouch stabs. It's always, like, when you see fast seeds like that, this, it's always annoying having to, like, use uh, Deku Nuts or something or Arrow on the tail. Holy shit. Thanks for the raid, Connor. Two big raids back to back. It's too bad you guys aren't going to be seeing too much more of this. <laughs> Imagine Connor was doing DK Rando. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it, it was a surprising middle slash ending of the seed. <laughs> oh, NLE. Pretty hot. Yeah, it's been a long time since there's been a seed that's, uh. It's been this, uh. fast. Anyway, Electric's done his Deku Tree, so just got to go back into Spirit Temple now. But unfortunately, he only has like another 30 seconds, probably. <laughs> Four hours of content? I mean... The, la the last couple races have been, like, b almost three hours. Between two and a half to three hours. Or longer. I wasn't expecting to only be sitting here for an hour and 25 minutes. <laughs> the longest race we saw was four hours. All right, GG, 125-20. Act... <laughs> Let's pull him in. Oh my god. Oh my god. What a seed. What a seed. I can't believe that you guys are done already. <laughs> I had other stuff to do. Or I didn't have anything else to do tonight. So, uh... Yeah, really, really hilarious ending to the seed. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. Any thoughts from you guys? <laughs> the jettest of all jet seeds. Yeah. I think that's the fastest seed in the tournament by like... Oh, by a lot, yeah. By like over a half hour. For sure. There's Botsky. Yeah. There was, um, I mean, both of you guys had kind of very different routes at the beginning. Both of you guys found different items. So, uh, obviously, Sunny went and got a hook shot super early from Death Mountain Crater. But, like, you had strength and bombs earlier. <laughs> and so, it was just kind of that trade off. Both of you guys able to do different things, you know, from, you know, from one side, the other side, and then. The unfortunate thing that I think cost you, though, Electric, was just because of the late hook shot, and there was a lot of backtracking that you kind of had to do through certain areas. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And especially in... Uh, I, a Forest Temple wasn't even that bad, but I think the, the thing that put you the most behind Sunny in this one was doing going up to that... Uh, going up to the Slingshot in Forest. Yeah. Yeah. I thought about just dipping immediately. Yeah. But yeah, go ahead oh, to make a call like that. Block her. Yeah, it is especially that early. Right. Oh yeah, I slingshot and was like, nope. <laughs> yeah, I was not picking that up. Yeah. I'm not taking that for one check. Um. Other than that, everything else was pretty, you know, pretty similar. Uh, from that stage on, like. Once, once both of you, both of you were in Forest Temple at the same time. So, um, except Electric hadn't cleared Dodongos at that point, whereas Sinny had. Uh, so, um, yeah, makes sense. And, and that was your second time. The second time you went into Forest Temple, both of you guys went into <laughs> Forest Temple with the hook shot, like at the same time. Um, gotcha. So, uh, since you're in Spirit Temple, I guess I can ask. So. Sydney, you were letting go of those like statues. Like, were you getting hit there? 
uh, one time I got hit by the Zolfos, but oh, okay, okay. the other times I was doing a trick to uh, push it and then immediately let go. Oh, okay, because I saw you do that in the first room when you like got the cutscene overlap when you got your fire arrows and opened the door. And I'd never seen that before, so I was I was like, wait, it, yeah. it was, were you like letting go somehow or like? If you hold a like, just just tap your control stick up and then immediately let go. You'll the statue will push and you'll let go and you'll have control link. Oh, I see. Interesting. Yeah, that was it was really cool because I was like so confused. I was like, how how is he just letting go? Like, <laughs> um. I guess the other thing is, um, were you always planning on uh, using Furores in Spirit, Sini? Or did you just decide I... not to do it lower, and then when you got up higher, you were like, oh yeah, I guess I should check that? Yeah, I, I, I was actually planning... The plan was to beat Spirit first, then go back in and jump down to check, f to check the Deku, yeah. or check for Deku, but... Then I realize, hey, oh wait, we start with for wars. I should probably just use that and jump down now. Oh, okay. Yeah, and if Deku was not there, I was going to reverse over the GTG. Yeah. That, that's what I figured, because I, when you were in spirit, I was looking, and I was like, well... Yeah, that I was, like, that was a screw-up by me. Yeah, I was like, wouldn't it be so convenient if spirit entrance just turned out to be Deku Tree, and then it did, and then we were like, wow, I yeah. guess we're done. <laughs> yeah, the only way I was not in go if, it's, if Deku was vanilla. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I was. What I thought you were gonna do originally was like what you said, like put Furores in the uh, in the Armos room, and then just like go beat. Spirit yeah, and I, then come back. I, I should have done that. Yeah, but I I don't think it really matters. Both of you guys did the same thing because Electric did the child side, upper child side, and then. Uh, you put Furores, yeah, you put Furores in upper child side by the torch, and then went through did Deku Tree, and then went back in, right? Yeah. Spirit? Yeah, yeah. So it was like, same thing, just different side of the temple. <laughs> Which I thought was <laughs> really funny, so it's kind of really convenient. Um, I guess one, one last thing. Both of you guys had interesting, uh, uh, fire temples. Uh, Sydney, I thought for sure you were gonna die when you uh, bottled your fairy. <laughs> yeah, then, like, I made it to the door with one second left. Yeah, I thought. And then I was... Electric it did die because <laughs> Electric. Oh missed, no! Electric missed the jump to the pillar and fell into the lava and just like stood there. Uh, and oh no! Accepted fate. And I was also worried about <laughs> my Volvagia. Yeah. Since yeah, I, I somehow just, I don't, I don't know why a bomb missed. I, I thought I hit seven times. Yeah. I, it, everything looked good. I, I was listening for audio, but I, I thought maybe you lost count because you died in there, and so maybe like. Maybe I did. Yeah. And then uh. I, I didn't see what happened, elect with electric. You didn't one cycle, right? I intentionally let her fly around oh, for the second one. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, Eric's uh, this is, <laughs> this is a really fast race. And I guess yeah. I, I guess the other uh, really funny thing, that uh, there wasn't a whole lot of time in the seed to gather notes from you guys, but at the very beginning right. of the seed, it was uh, you, Electric, walking all I've, the way. I forgot I've been here. Yeah, and as soon as I walked up, I was like, oh, right. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, no. Minuet. Yeah, so that, yeah I, that... I, I immediately played that at the start. Yeah, so yeah. That, that put I should have, um... a little far behind everything you were doing at the beginning. Yeah, I should have done Okurina game, gone over to the, the scrub near Skull Kid, and then minuetted up from there. Yeah. Once I realized yeah. I had minuet, I was like, oh, that's, that's the better route. <laughs> But yeah, both you guys like diverged from the very beginning, and then after like the initial like Lost Woods check, I think I can't I can't even remember. Like I don't know. It was it was a great divergence until all of a sudden you guys got magic, and then after that it was like pretty similar. Like I was 
expecting either Hammer or Hovers to be your Shadow Way of the Hero. And speaking of that, we only got two Way of the Hero items. Yeah, yeah we only saw two. Locations, yeah. I, with a seed this fast, this seed... Uh, this it probably only had those two or maybe one more. Yeah, this feed this yeah. Seed was 13 spheres, but honestly, sphere 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 are just bosses. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, let me actually see if there were any other way of the heroes, because usually on seeds this short, sometimes you don't get any. Yeah, I, you might not be able to get 5 waths in this seed. Yeah, I know, because yeah. all, all of your items were in locations with other items. Mm -hmm. uh, Maybe one of the strength locations. It's like the only thing I could think of. Well, yeah. it, it would depend on if a third strength's available. Right. Yeah, I don't know where the third strength was, but uh, but I think oh, both, both the bows were. Uh... Shoutouts to the back skull in, in DD uh, Dungus Cabin once again having a strength upgrade. Hell yeah, <laughs> the homie. Yeah. I guess I should just like control F of the hero so we got dmc oh lake hylia was way of the hero uh lake hylia lake hylia death mountain crater kokiri forest that makes sense and oh yeah for the shadow, dens shadow dmc what are we supposed to get totally. hylia? yeah nocturne so... there should be a nocturne way of the hero uh Nocturne was a sometimes hint, wasn't it? Oh, was it? Uh, so I, I never see. found yeah, that hint. Yeah, so... Uh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. So let's see, it's not hinted off. So, Kokiri Forest for Din's Fire. Uh, Lake Hylia Child Fishing. Oh! Child Fishing at Hover Boots. Neat. So... Oh, wait. I think Ow. the seed was expecting... Shadow completion? Shadow? Let me have a look at what the... What did we... Let's see, four. What did we. I don't remember breaking logic. <laughs> yeah, I didn't break logic at all. Yeah, ni neither of you guys. I, I think it was because you had to go in there for the hammer. And so the, the way the seed paths it is just like, well, you had to go in there for the hammer, so you may as well beat the dungeon. But you'd have to go back in there because you needed the hammer to leave to get uh. Zelda's to go back in. But I guess, right. where was the key ring in Shadow? It was the compass chest, so... Okay, right, yeah, that's right after. Locked. Yeah. So, and then it wants you to be... So yeah, Deku, DC, and then... Fire, Shadow, and Forest. No, uh, Spirit. So, it, the seed didn't expect you guys to be in forest. <laughs> Wait, really? Kind of weird. weird. <laughs> because the boss, the boss key was immediate. Was super early in forest. <laughs> Surprise, it doesn't want us to beat forest. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. And Belayo and Storms was three, so I, yeah. I mean, in a, in a seed of like this. In a seed of this uh, length, it's probably just the path of least resistance. And <laughs> yeah, it's just yeah, throwing the, the least the wall. spears. Yeah, the difference between one or the other isn't like, you know, that terrible. So yeah. Anyway, good race. <laughs> um, that's all, that's all I had to say. Unless you guys have anything else. Nope. It was. <laughs> but, it was a big seed. Yeah. Yeah. So this this was the last uh, this was the last uh, match in uh, our group, and so if I punch in the results, I wonder if I can see what the uh, the seeding will be. Uh, if it's head to head, then I should be top group. Yeah. As long as so, there's second yeah. and so electric third. Obviously, third. The, the three that'll be moving on from our group: Sinesh, Longster, Electric, Pixel, and me. Um, Sinesh, Longster, and Electric Fortune will be going on, so Electric will be third seed uh, yep. with two wins, two losses, and then Sinesh and Schlongster both had three wins, one loss, but because in your guys' match, you beat Schlongster, you win the tiebreaker point, and so you'll be first seed. Schlongster will be second seed, and Electric will be third seed. Alright. So, Solid. 
Very nice. So the the uh, group A has two matches left, and both of them are scheduled for tomorrow. So Ooh. Flame nice. Forged versus Light Sword is going to be happening tomorrow morning at nine o'clock Pacific, noon Eastern, and then I'm going to be hosting Asmi versus Lord Fluffy. That one's happening in the afternoon at four o'clock Pacific, seven o'clock Eastern. So both both of them will be determined tomorrow, and then everyone can dance for joy and whatnot. So yeah, that's that's all for us tonight, and uh, I guess we'll see y'all tomorrow for <laughs> hopefully a longer yeah. seed. <laughs> a little more <laughs> content, nice time. Or maybe even shorter than this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, see you guys. See you, everyone.